Hey YouTube, this is 3IS. Uh, so I had a question on my other video about the weight of the, uh, the Bren 2. This guy right here. Um, the question was asking about how much does the Bren 2 weigh with the, the stock, or I would call it the brace, obviously, um, and a red dot. Uh, I have a primary arms red dot with a Midwest one lower one third quick detach. But uh, I wanted to let you guys see how much this weighed um, with your own eyes. So it looks like we got the scale up and working. Slide this on there. Oh, there it is. So the, 60, the 11 inch uh, configuration with a SBA4, uh, you add in the buffer tube and the castle nut. Uh, it looks like you got about six pounds, 13.4 ounces. So I know the SBA fork, the way I bought it, comes with a buffer tube, but you might have to double check to see um, how, what they publish their weights at. This to me is a very balanced rifle, uh, sorry, pistol, and uh, it will be a rifle very, very soon. I am form wanting this uh, almost immediately after uh, I hit the thousand round mark on this testing. Um, there are a lot of great options that you can switch out, but for right now, I wouldn't believe everything in numbers. I mean, oftentimes numbers can construe things that you think, oh, this will be lighter, but in actuality, balance um, played a, a large role in it. And you know, you think, oh, if I go lighter, this should be easier to handle, and I'll just line this. And it's never, never that simple. It, it, something is some, you know, the sum of all doesn't necessarily equal the whole. Um, so just keep that in mind. Six pounds, 13.4 ounces, very light. Um, I think this is basically what you're gonna see with any, uh, of any platform of this size. So uh, the SCAR 16, once they're cut down to 10 and a half and you change out some of the, the hand guard panels and you lighten up some of the stock pieces, uh, you're looking at around this weight, uh, PWS MK111s, they're a little lighter than this. Uh, the Mod 2, the line version, the, the Pro line is a little, with the extruded aluminum upper receiver, a little heavier. Uh, I have a Adams Arms 11 and a half. That's, you know, with a ballistic advantage barrel. It's a little heavier than this uh, with once it's put on a lower. But that gives you an idea of how much that weighed. Uh, let's see. This uh, really old primary arms micro red dot with the Midwest is 6.6 .6. so you can add those two together you'll have the full weight uh, i think it's seven pounds four ounces is that right that sounds about right seven pounds four ounces so pretty pretty good combo um and also because i had it out here and i told you guys that the trigger weight on this particular gun was three pounds i wanted you to see it for yourself it wasn't something i just made up so, here's the gun. You're gonna rack it. Make sure it's empty. Yep. Okay, so there you are. Here is my super fancy trigger pull gauge. Uh, as it pulls, this moves. And once it breaks, it'll stop moving. And therefore, I'll have my trigger pull weight. All right, so let's give it a shot. It's already off safe. Great, this is not my first time recording this video. So here we go. It's braced against the counter, and we're just going to pull down. Okay, so this initial pull, I don't know if you can see that, right at three pounds. Let me try it one more time. And we're going to pull straight down. Again, my super accurate trigger pull is uh, three pounds. And we'll try one more time just for good measure. Hopefully my neighbors don't think I'm a weirdo. And this one just a smidge over, three and a quarter. So there you have it. Uh, my Bren 2 MS has a three pound trigger from the factory. I really do enjoy it. I really like this gun. Uh, if you have any other questions, let me know. Uh, I can relatively do 
some research and do some work on it. Uh, please don't ask me to take apart individual rail panels. Uh, but if you do have any questions, let me know.